Nusa Penida Bali, and Komodo Islands. Both are awesome places with unforgettable views, pristine picturesque beaches, with excellent snorkeling, free and scuba diving. Today's video is aimed at pointing out some of the differences between these two locations in the hopes that it might help you decide between the two locations if you must. This is Plan Free, the channel that illustrates a location independent lifestyle and shows you how to get it for yourself. My name is Air. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're talking about on this channel, click the like button, subscribe to the channel. It's free, just takes a second, and it helps a lot. Both Nusa Penida and the Komodo Islands are definitely worthy of your vacation time and are unforgettable experiences. But what are some of the key differences between the two? The first one I'd like to touch on is the ease of accessibility. Nusa Penida, you can usually catch a half an hour or 45 minute ferry from main Bali Island to Nusa Penida and you're there. Compare that to Komodo Islands, it's much harder to access it, whether you fly into the island of Flores and then catch a boat tour from there into the Komodo Islands. Or some people initiate their boat tour right from Bali into the Komodo Islands, which usually takes multiple days just to get to where you're going. Because Nusa Penida is easier to access, you will also experience more people there, with many people actually living and staying on the island full time. So this comes with certain advantages and disadvantages. For example, on Nusa Penida, you could actually find rent or stay in a place mid to long term. You could actually quasi live there. And you compare that to the Komodo Islands. The Komodo Islands, you pretty much have to travel to and from by boat. And if you're planning to stay for any amount of time, it would also have to be done on a boat. So it's much more difficult to stay in and around the Komodo Islands for a lengthy time, unless you own your own boat, know someone that does, or you have the financial means to rent a vessel longer term. Now, obviously with more people that come on Nusa Penida, you're going to experience more crowds when you're trying to take in some of the world-class views that Nusa Penida has, and also their beaches. You're going to experience some beautiful beaches in Nusa Penida, You're likely going to experience that beach alongside and shoulder to shoulder with a significant amount of people. When you compare that to the Komodo Islands, they have large, expansive, gorgeous beaches. And it's likely that you'll have these beaches all to yourself or you're sharing them with just a handful of people. Again, with Nusa Penida being inhabited full time, by people and being a popular tourist destination that's easier to access of the two locations, you'll find some wildlife here on Nusa Penida. For example, you'll encounter several monkeys with questionable attitudes, and they have things like reptiles, iguanas, birds, etc. And when you compare that to the Komodo Islands, this is where the Komodo Islands really separates itself. You know, because Komodo dragons, in addition to the dragons, and probably in combination with the fact that the Komodo Islands are a national park, you're going to experience a lot more wildlife. You might even see things like flying foxes. There'll be more diversity in their bird life, more monkeys, and heck, even the monkeys have a better attitude, probably due to the fact that the dragons are keeping them in line and well-behaved. In summary, both Nusa Penida and the Komodo Islands are unforgettable locations that if you have the time and ability to fit them both into your vacation itinerary, they're a must. Nusa Penida is easier to get to and from and easier to stay on if you want to hang around for a while. Whereas the Komodo Islands are harder to get to and because of that there are much fewer people, much better wildlife and a more pristine, uncrowded, beach experience and a much more wild feeling where oftentimes you'll experience these world-class views and beaches all by yourself or close to it. Hopefully this video provides some points for you to consider when you're deciding between the two locations. 
This is Plan Free, the channel that illustrates a location independent lifestyle and shows you how to get it. My name's Air. If you like what we're talking about in the video, click the like button. If you'd like to support the channel for free, click the subscribe button and the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. It's free, it just takes a second, but it helps a lot. We'll see you again soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.